So if you're anything like me, sometimes you can feel stressed when you have something that you put a deadline on or you've been given a deadline. For me, I really struggled to find the time today to sit down and paint. I had a lot going on today and as you can see, the lighting in this video is absolutely atrocious. Um, that's because I'm sitting at my art desk in my lounge room using my very not studio light. Um, it's just a, just a really cheap um, light from Officeworks and it just doesn't give me the kind of um, true to colour tones that I want, but that's okay. Um, so I am filming this really late at night and oh boy, am I tired. I just want to go to bed, but I also really wanted to paint. And while I was painting this, um, I cut it really close, actually. It's almost midnight, uh, midnight and in Australia. So it's still technically day two for America, maybe. I have no idea how that works. Doesn't matter. It's not relevant. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, so I really did cut this close for my own personal deadline like this is just me setting myself a goal each day and trying to finish that goal if I don't get around to it then it's not it's not a problem like it really isn't a problem it's no law dictating that I must do this no nothing like that so if I don't make it it's no big deal but if I do I feel really good like I've really accomplished something but yeah, me sitting down today, oh boy, was it so difficult. And when I did finally get to sit down, I had to get up and down a lot with the kids, which isn't a problem. It happens quite frequently, so I'm sort of used to it. Um, but it is, it can be a little frustrating when all you want to do is just art and you can't. But that's okay. These things happen. So for this particular piece, um... The background was a watercolour and it was just lifting and mixing with the acrylic that I'd put on. And these are Jane Davenport's acrylics. Of course it's Jane. <laughs> Everything of mine is Jane. <sighs> I swear to God, this is not sponsored, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was mixing and that, that's fine. These things happen. You know, I, I knew that was going to happen. Um and it, it didn't really bother me at all. I was going to put silver, but then I thought, no, there's a gold watercolour that's been mixed in with the pink. So I will continue that gold into the hair. It wasn't popping the way I wanted it to. So I just covered the hair in um, Jane's gesso and then repainted the um, gold on top. And as I was painting this, the gesso mixed with the watercolour and I really liked that. I thought it looked really, really good. So I, I just went with it and um, mixed it all through and then added little bits of gold over the top. Not a lot, just a little. And um, the blue in the background is Jane's acrylic called Ink, as in I-N-K. And it is a beautiful colour and I love it. And I'm going to have to get more because <laughs> those tubes are not big enough. And yes, I am doing a no-no here. I've left the cap off my acrylic paint. Don't ever do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, yeah, so I was just doing a little bit of shading, just a little bit. Because this is just a quick piece. I mean, all in all, I probably was painting for maybe under an hour. Um, I was filming for significantly longer than that, but that's fine. Um, here I am getting a Jane Davenport jellyfish stamp, which is from her mermaid tin, uh, mermaid stamps. Um, I was trying to use the silver. Uh, it's called Silver Trinket, I think. Yeah, Silver Trinket. And it just didn't pop. So I used Beluga White, which is the Stark White, and it worked much better. 
but then I thought no I'll continue the gold along so I'm using gold bullion um and that one also popped and looks really really nice and at this point I really liked the piece I thought everything was going really really well but there was something missing I'm not sure if you can tell what's missing but I can and it's that background it's just very blank it's just blue and I didn't like it oh starfish is on her boobs yep forgot I did that <laughs> I, I'm editing this video straight after finished painting and I forgot that I added that oh well <laughs> um, now I'm using a glitzy marker to go over her tail just a little bit because I forgot to add details but that's okay uh, paint over pen just for some highlights and here is where I add some of Jane's brand new palette pastels. Um, this is the mineral eye set and honestly if you could see this it is just gorgeous. It is this beautiful sort of a soft luminescent green or iridescent might be a better term and it's just amazing but I had to spray this with a matte fixative after I'd finished applying it because if I didn't it would come straight off in the journal like it would just be rubbed off and I would lose all that really gorgeous shine so definitely matte fixative is the way to go um and here I am with my final piece all finished yeah, it was a really quick piece. Um, glow in the dark is the prompt for day three. And yeah, it's not my favorite one that I've done this month. Um, but to be honest, I don't hate it. Actually, quite, well, I learned a lot. I realized how much the watercolor was going to lift and what my palette pastels can do and, you know, how hard it is to draw a mermaid in late at night when you're tired and all you want to do is go to bed. Um, but Jane's Fabulous Figures book helped with that. <laughs> so here I am putting it back in the journal so that tomorrow I can draw again. So, yeah, this was a... Uh, interesting interesting one <laughs> you may not find it interesting but I do so yeah thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoy these videos please let me know if you don't <laughs> please let me know if you do all right I hope to see you tomorrow but no promises bye